Hello, brothers and sisters. God bless. Hope your night or day has been going good. Since I've been talking about the Holy Spirit over here, the Comforter, I wanted to talk about something the Holy Spirit does that should alleviate any fears of salvation loss or losing salvation, or even that you don't have salvation. How many times can people get stuck in a cycle? I was guilty of this years ago where I kept praying, Lord, save me. Lord, save me. I kept praying it over and over thinking it didn't take the first time. Maybe the Lord didn't hear. Maybe I didn't pray sincerely the first time. And so maybe I had to try again. Keep praying, keep praying. Lord, save me. Lord, save me. The Bible says whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Not maybe, not might be, not could be, but will be saved. But people can get in that cycle of just praying over and over. Lord, save me. Lord, save me. Well, the work of the Holy Spirit ought to comfort you because the Bible says that we do not know how to pray as we ought, but the Spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings too deep for words. And he who searches the heart knows what the mind of the Spirit is, for he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Now the scripture is saying that we do not know how to pray as we ought, so the Spirit himself, he's praying for us. He's making an intercession, it says, according to the will of God. Now this is important because the will of God is that we would have eternal life. This is the will of God that all that believe in the Son would have eternal life. This is the will of the Father that all that would look and believe in the Son would have eternal life. So that's what the Holy Spirit is praying for according to the will of God. He who searches the heart knows what the mind of the Spirit is, for he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. This praying according to the will of God is so important too, because First John says, this is the confidence that we have towards God, that if we ask anything according to his will, we know he hears us. And if he hears us, we have the petitions we have asked of him. So the scripture says, when you pray according to the will of God, those prayers are heard and those petitions are answered. And so the Holy Spirit is praying in accordance to the will of God for the saints. He who searches the heart knows what the mind of the Spirit is, for he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And the will of God is your eternal life. This is the will of the Father, that all that look and believe in the Son will have eternal life. All that look to the Son and believe in him will have eternal life. And so we see in the scripture, when you come to the Son, you get eternal life. And he continues to make intercession for you for that eternal life. He is able to save to the uttermost those who come to God through him, since he always lives to make intercession for them. So he saves to the uttermost those who come to God through him. If you've come to God, he's saved you to the uttermost. And then he continues to live to make intercession for you on the basis of a perfect sacrifice. And the promises of God about eternal life, that if we look and behold the son we believe in him we have eternal life we've done the will of the father so this should be encouraging for anyone who's you know, prayed over and over god save me god save me maybe even gone to someone else and said will you pray for me to be saved maybe you went to someone you saw was more spiritual you thought and you said you know could you pray for me that i'll be saved well there's someone praying for you for your salvation that's the greatest person in the universe the holy spirit of god is praying for our eternal betterment and those prayers are heard and those prayers are answered he's able to save to the uttermost those who come to god through him since he always lives to make intercession for them that's an intercession according to the will of god which is our salvation this is the will of the father that all that look and believe in the son will have eternal life and he who searches the heart knows what the mind of the spirit is for he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of god so the spirit is making intercession for the for our very eternal life and those prayers are heard and they're answered because this is the confidence that we have towards God that if we ask anything according to his will we know he hears us and if he hears us we have the petitions we have asked to him so you can see the Holy Spirit is praying for our eternal betterment he's not con he's not convicting us making us feel guilty trying to make us feel uncomfortable he's the comforter he is the spirit of peace, which has been given to you, the spirit of God, which is a peace that will never leave you or forsake you. My peace I give to you, my peace I leave with you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. You don't have to be afraid that the spirit of God is ever going to leave us or forsake us. He's comforting us. He's not making us feel guilty. He's praying for our eternal betterment according to the will of God, which is our salvation which according to the Bible, we received when we came to him. He's able to save to the uttermost those who come to God through him. So he saved us to the uttermost when we came to God through him. By grace, you have been saved through faith, not of yourself. It is a gift of God, not of works, least any man should boast. So it says by grace, you have been saved. We've already been saved through faith, not of ourself. It's a gift of God, not of works, least any man should boast. So it's not of ourself. It's not of our works. 
Amen. God is good and he shows us that we're good. We have no reason to fear or let our hearts be troubled. He's given us an eternal everlasting peace, not as the world gives does he give to us. He's praying prayers according to the will of God for our eternal betterment. He may be convicting the world of their sin and their unbelief, but he is our comforter and our intercessor. And those prayers are heard, those magnificent prayers, whatever is being prayed as far as the intricacies of the Holy Spirit praying on our behalf for things in our life, it, it, it would be awesome to be able to just listen in on that conversation. God bless, guys. Peace to you. Take care.